are the types of chordectomies? The first one is called as subepithelial chordectomy. What is the meaning of subepithelial chordectomy? It is defined as resection of the vocal fold epithelium passing through the superficial layer of the lamina propria. So, if we take the vocal cord, let me draw it here for all of you. We have got the epithelium. Then we have got the superficial lamina propria. The intermediate and the deep layer form the vocal ligament. And then last we have got the vocalis muscle. So, what does subepithelial chordectomy tell us? Subepithelial chordectomy means you are resecting the vocal fold superficial to the lamina propria. Only this much I resect. What is this called as? Subepithelial chordectomy. Now, if I go up to the ligament where I re resect the rinky space, what is rinky space between the epithelium and the superficial lamina propria? We call it as rinky space. So, this space between the epithelium and superficial lamina propria is rinky space. Now, if I go through this space and if I go to the ligament, I will resect this entire thing, the epithelium, the superficial lamina propria, rinky space and vocal ligament. What will I call this as? I will call this as subligamental chordectomy. So, you can see in the first surgery only the epithelium is removed. In the second surgery we are removing up to the vocal ligament. So, what we see here is only the vocalis muscle. So, this type of a surgery is called as type 2 which is subligamental chordectomy. Now, what is type 3? Now, of course, you are going to go to the muscle. From the epithelium you went to ligament. From the ligament you are going to the muscle. So, if you remove the entire vocal fold till the muscle, what do we call it as? We call it as transmuscular chordectomy. So, here in transmuscular chordectomy, you are going to resect the vocal fold down up to the vocalis muscle. So, you can see epithelium is gone, superficial lamina propria is gone, vocal ligament is gone, up to the vocalis muscle you will remove. That is called as your transmuscular chordectomy. So, what was the first one? The first one was subepithelial chordectomy. The second one is subligamental chordectomy. The third one is called as transmuscular chordectomy. Okay. Then we have got total chordectomy. What is total chordectomy? You are going to resect the entire epithelium, superficial lamina propria, vocal ligament, vocalis muscle up to the level of thyroid cartilage. So, you can see here the extension of resection extends from the vocal process to the anterior commissure, meaning posteriorly from the vocal process, anteriorly up to the anterior commissure. It goes till it includes the inner perichondrium of the thyroid cartilage. So, inner perichondrium of the ala of the thyroid cartilage is till there you are going to resect. That is called as total chordectomy. So, first one was subepithelials, then we had the, in the ligament, then we had transmuscular and then we have got the total, total chordectomy. Now, what are we talking about? Now, we are talking about extended chordectomies. What is the meaning of extended chordectomy? Here, this is a type 5 surgery. So, this is further subdivided into further subtypes. What is 5A? Here, we are resecting the contralateral anterior commissure as well. So, we are resecting the anterior commissure and going to the contralateral anterior third of the vocal fold. So, on the same side, the epithelium ligament muscle is removed, anterior commissure is removed and the opposite side, I am also taking off the anterior part of the vocal cord. So, that is 5A. What is 5B? I will remove the entire structure including arytenoid. So, if you see 5A arytenoid was never being removed. But if I see 5B, do I have arytenoid? No, there is resection of arytenoid. So, 5B is essentially 5A plus resection of arytenoids. Then, what is 5C? 5C is a procedure where you resect the subglottis as well. So, if you see here, this is the level of vocal cords. You are removing up to the level of subglottis. 
So not just the glottis, you are going down as well. That is called as 5C. So 5C is subglottic. What is 5D? 5D is you are going above and now you are taking off the false cords and the ventricle of the larynx. So if you resect the false cords plus ventricle of the larynx, it is going to be your 5D. So 1, only epithelium. 2, up to the ligament. 3, till the muscle. 4, till the thyroid ala. 5, you are going to go extended form. What was 5A? If you are going to go up to the anterior commissure and you are going to remove the contralateral one third. What was 5B? The same but now what we are resecting? Arytenoids. What is 5C? We are going down and removing the subglottis and what is 5D? We are going above and we are removing the false cords and the ventricle of the larynx. That is 5D. Now what is 6? The 6 is also called as anterior commissurectomy. So what is the surgery called as? Anterior commissurectomy. So, what do you do in this anterior commissurectomy? You are going to resect the anterior commissure with bilateral anterior cordectomy. So, this may include some of the subglottic mucosa and the cricothyroid membrane. So, we are going to remove anterior part of both the vocal cord, the anterior commissure here you may have some amount of subglottic mucosa involved and you might also remove the cricothyroid membrane. So that is 6.